Welcome back, guys. Let's dive into the Mausolus, who was a ruler of a region called Caria in ancient Persia, now Turkey. He was known for being very powerful and for making Halicarnassus a beautiful city. The word mausoleum actually comes from King Mausolus's name, now it means any grand tomb or burial place. Imagine a small, fancy temple-like building sitting on a massive base or platform. It was about 45 meters tall, almost as tall as a modern 15-story building. The structure had columns around it, supporting a pyramid-shaped roof. On top of the roof was a chariot statue of Mausolus and Artemisia. The whole tomb was beautifully decorated with sculptures and carvings showing scenes of battles and hunting. Artemisia, Mausolus's wife and sister, ordered its construction after Mausolus died. It was designed and constructed by Greek architects and sculptors, which was unusual because Halicarnassus was not a Greek city. This shows how cultures mixed in the ancient world. It took a long time to build and Artemisia died before it was finished. The mausoleum stood for about 1,700 years. It got damaged by earthquakes and eventually fell into ruins. During the Middle Ages, knights used its stones to build a castle. Some of the sculptures and pieces from the mausoleum were taken to museums where they can be seen today. It's remembered as an architectural and artistic masterpiece. The beauty and grandeur of the mausoleum influenced how tombs and monuments were built in later cultures. Being one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, it represents the incredible skills and creativity of ancient architects and artists. In summary, the mausoleum at Halicarnassus was not just a tomb, but a symbol of power, art, and the blending of different cultures in the ancient world. It set a standard for monumental architecture and is still remembered today for its grandeur and historical significance. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.